Hello Internet, my name is Ryan Ingram and today we're going to be talking about a deal that we just purchased that has an extraordinary amount of equity that's already built in and it's going to cash flow on a monthly basis. Here are the before pictures of this property. This is one that we have already purchased and we've already renovated it. it we just listed it on the market for rent. So as you can see, I thought this was really funny, but it looks like they replaced the front part of the roof and not the back. The back was original. And also a cool story is the guy that we got to replace the back half of the roof was the same guy that put that roof on original over 20 years ago. It's a small world. We also, well, I won't tell you everything that we did because then it wouldn't look nearly as cool afterwards. Now let's look at these numbers. The purchase price of this property is $32,000. I bought this, it was a HUD property, so that means that it was a federally backed loan that someone bought to live in, or, uh, or rent, it really doesn't matter. But for whatever reason, the mortgage payments weren't being made, the bank foreclosed on it, and then sold it back to the government. The government then sells them for a slight markup of what they have into it. So sometimes you can find really good deals on these HUD homes. You should probably download the HUD Home Store app, and I'm going to be doing a video about that shortly as to how to find, analyze, and purchase HUD homes. So in this case, I'm very thankful for it because we got uh, $43,000 of equity just built in just for buying this property. This is in a really great part of the county. So the taxes are a little bit higher, but nonetheless, so are the, the ARV or the after repair values of the property. So that's really cool. I was really excited and thrilled to be able to purchase this property. The estimated rehab costs, it's not so much estimated anymore. We have this place listed for rent and we've already made all the repairs and we spent $6,500 getting this place back up to speed. So all things considered, that's really not a lot of money considering the amount of equity. So we still got over $30,000 of equity even after the expenses, which is a giant win. Now let's talk about how we financed it. So on this particular deal, uh, I was able to work with one of my favorite investors, a really good friend of mine. He lent me $45,000. So as you can see, the purchase price was 32,000. The estimated rehab cost, the rehab cost that we actually paid at this point, that is 38,500. So we do have a little bit of money left over on this property that we are now going to use to purchase additional rental properties. However, we did borrow the $45,000 again at 12%. So that makes easy math. The mortgage payment is $450 per month. Now, this is a three-year term. So we owe the full $45,000 back after three years, which is okay because look how much equity that we have in the property at 75% of the after repair value. That's what you could commonly get a loan for on like a cash out refinance. If you do 75% of the ARV, that's still $56,250. So best case scenario, if we were to go through a traditional lender and refinance this property at a later date, if it appraises for 75,000, we would be able to refinance for a total of 56250 So we would be able to pull out roughly $11,000 in addition to the money that we have owed on the property at a high interest rate. Let's talk about the rest of the monthly payments. All right, so as we just discussed, the mortgage payment is $450 per month. This is at a high interest rate. Let's go ahead and say that we just refinance for the amount that we owe. So we only pull out 45,000 at the cash refinance. Let's say this is a commercial loan at 20 years amortization. And let's say that we get 6%. So that would lower this number. Let's just say future. That would be $322. So once we successfully do this, we would be able to add uh, $130 to our, or $128 per month to our bottom line. All right, the insurance policy on this property, it is $792 per year or $66 per month. The taxes on this property, as I mentioned previously, they're a little bit higher. So they are $1,850 per year or $155 per month. The property management fee, again, that's 8% of the uh, gross rent. 
So for this property, that's $68 per month. Now, all of the monthly expenses combined, that comes out to $739. We just put this property on the market for rent for $850 per month. So that leaves us with $111 per month in monthly cash flow. As we discussed on the previous video, if you were to want to use 10% for the capital expenditures and then 10% for repairs and maintenance, you'd be at $85 times two. So you would be at $170 per month. So for people that include these in the monthly expenses, then you would you could successfully argue that we are $59 negative in this property. But at the same time, keep in mind that we're only going to have this high interest financing for three years. At that point, we're going to take it to a traditional lender and we're going to refinance a package of these properties all together. And that is going to lower the payment to a worst case scenario, $322 per month, which would add $130 to the cash flow, so now you would be uh, $80 cash flow positive after your $170. After all those numbers work together, then you would get an extra $80 per month out of this property. The cash flow on this property isn't particularly high. However, we did get a great amount of equity from the beginning. And this is in an area that will appreciate at the 4%. I know that is slightly speculative. However, all things considered, we were able to get into this property without any of our own money into the deal. We actually had a little bit of leftover money that we're going to utilize to purchase more rental properties. What are your thoughts? Comment below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, but in the meantime, let's look at the finished product. So as you can see, we did replace the back side of the roof. We painted the back porch to match the house and the front porch. So we painted the front porch, we made it look really nice. We polished the floors on the interior. We covered up all of the uh, stuff right at the front door with that wonderful rug. We decided to leave that stone area where the wood stove used to be. And we figured that could be a nice area to put a television or something of the like. The carpet in this property cleaned up really nice. We painted the entire house a nice beige color. We polished all of the woodwork, all of the trim in this house. It's truly gorgeous. We decided to keep the bathroom in this property. Again, it's, it's very dated. Um, it could probably stand to be updated, but everything was functional. Everything works very well. Originally, when we were going through and addressing all of the plumbing issues, um, there wasn't much water pressure. So we found the service line to the property, and that's the line that takes all of the water uh, from the street inside the house. That was a galvanized pipe. So we did replace that with copper, and we also had to do a little bit of plumbing work as well on the gas. The old meter was inside. The city came along while this property was abandoned and replaced all the gas lines. So we had to get um, new piping installed to the outside of the house so that we could have the meter outside and so that we could have gas to light the furnace and the water heater. So what are your thoughts? I'm having tons of fun explaining these deals, exactly how we get into them. Um, again, I'm going to be completely transparent with everybody and explain exactly why we're doing everything and how we're going about building an extraordinary amount of wealth, a sustainable business, and um, I just want to help you guys be able to build wealth through real estate, understand this industry. So if you have any questions at all that you'd like answered or you're not quite sure about particulars of what I'm speaking about, please comment, ask me questions. I'll be happy to explain. All right. Thanks for checking out this property. It was a big win for my brother and I. It's a gorgeous property. It's in a phenomenal part of town. It's going to make a great home for family. So look forward to talking to you guys next time. Thanks.